Hey, Happy New Year's, everybody. Um, glad, you, glad you all could be with me today. Um, we got a 10-game slate we got to get into, man. A lot of juicy plays. Man, uh, you know, I hope you all had a great day yesterday, fantasy, uh, sports betting, whatever the case may be. Um, I had a decent day in fantasy. Uh, DraftKings, I didn't do so well, but FanDuel, I cashed everywhere, cash games, everything. Probably put up like a 300, 299, something like that. It was a, it was a great day. Uh, I play cash games. I might play one. I, most of the time, I play one lineup, and I run it everywhere. No matter the case, you know, uh, 50-50s, double ups, and 100 mans, and uh, uh, shit like that. So, uh, big shout out to my subscribers, new and old, day ones, my FanDuel group, Twitter followers. Thank you all for the support. Can't thank you enough. Uh, our motto should be the, uh, you know, profit and not deposit. Uh, no bet is too small. You know what I'm saying? No win. You know, don't be ashamed of no no bets. Uh, uh, don't be ashamed of uh, uh, your winnings, cause you know win. You know win is a win, man. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 the goal, man. Let's try to win the win the day, win the week, win the months, win the years. You know. Uh, what else? What else? Like I said, we got ten games late. Uh, something I've been doing, like I said, like I always said in my video, uh, especially early on, I don't know if it's early or whatever, whatnot, but uh, a lot of these studs, I haven't been playing them, you know, uh, I've been trying to uh, find great spots and uh, upsides on, on, on these price tags, on these players. Um, so, uh, you know, it's only been a couple studs I've been paying up for, uh, like ABC, he's somebody who does damage. Uh, Jolic, Jokic, he's one of my top studs I've been paying up for. Other than that, the rest of the guys, I haven't been paying up for them, uh, especially in the 5K range. I mean, in the five-digit uh, range, people like uh, Doncic and stuff like that, I haven't been playing them, you know. But anyway, that's that's just something I wanted to point out. Let's go, though. Um, let's see. We're going to start off with this. Um... Make sure you guys receive this message, man. I try to bring it to you however I can. You know, it is what it is. Just receive the message. It might be shitty, but it's definitely going to be clean. Starting off, uh, let's say, let's go with the Memphis and Charlotte game. We got Memphis and Charlotte. Uh, I'm going to point out today, I might not touch on everybody, all the big guys or whatever, because they self-explanatory, but I want to just point out some guys that's, you know, whoever I touch on, they're going to be in some good spots, even if it's a whole game that I like. Now, uh, starting off on the Memphis Charlotte side of the ball, uh, on, 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 on Memphis Charlotte game, uh, last game, uh, both of these guys were, uh, both of these teams were involved in a blowout on both sides of the ball. Uh, hey, uh, Charlotte blew out Dallas and Memphis got blew out. Um, we got Charlotte here. Um, start off with Joe Val. Joe Val, <clears throat> I like to target bigs against Charlotte. I like to target bigs against uh, Brooklyn. Those are two teams that I like to Charlotte target bigs against. And uh, you probably won't hear this guy. He's pretty. He, he got. He, he's coming in at a hefty price tag. Uh, but for what he can do, Jonas Valanciunas, man, I think, you know, I'm going to keep on saying it. You know, if he don't happen today, which it should happen today, man, should have a good game, man. He, I like the spot. You know we can he can give you 50 or 60 fantasy points. He gave you 35 in 24 minutes uh, last game in the blowout. And, and the game before that, you know, going up against Brooklyn, he was at 7,700. He gave you a 43. So uh, that, you know. Bigs against Brooklyn, you know I like that, but we'll get to that game soon. But like I said, uh, a D double double 2011 and 24 minutes. He had five turnovers, you know. Uh, I like him, you know. I like him. He probably won't. He probably gonna be low on. Probably not gonna be talked about across the industry. I definitely like him. When you want to take the under on some of these guys, you wanna, you know, you wanna, you want, you want, you want to take the under on some of these guys like Jokic and shit like that. Uh, he's somebody that you can look to. Um, let me see if I can get that. Yeah, um, Tyus Jones. He, 
he's he's definitely gonna be in play. Like I said, it was a blowout. I don't, you know, I don't. Um, we could we gonna get to some uh, some guys who could probably give us a little bit more upside. And uh, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, Allen uh, Winslow still out. Melton be out. So you know, another young another pivot that you I mean another cheaper option you can look to is Bain, uh, the young boy. He's getting the minutes. He's going to get some minutes, you know, with all the injuries that they're facing over here. And uh, like I said, he's he going to be a pivot off. Uh, Bane, he'll probably be a pivot off a guy, off a couple guys that's going to be starting uh, at a cheaper price. Like uh, we'll say um, Neto, Raul Neto, he's going to be pretty, 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 pretty popular today. Uh, you'll get Bane at. Um, on FanDuel, you'll get Bane at, um, where the hell is Bane? I probably, my eyes ain't that good. I probably didn't went past him unless he's sitting over there at the two guard spot. But anyway, like I said, he's going to be a nice cheap option that you can look to if you think you have to go to, because a lot of, uh, I mean, it's got a lot of juicy plays today that I don't think you don't, you know, he's priced at 3700 on FanDuel too. You might not even have to go this low, you know what I'm saying? He played 31 minutes last game. Keep in mind, it was a blowout. He gave 25 points to at that cheap price tag. And I did touch on um, Joe Val. He's probably sitting around the same price. He's 7700 on FanDuel. So, uh, and then, you know, you got your Andersons and Brooks. Like I said, it was a blowout last game. Um, looked like Anderson was playing a little bit of the point guard role. He, he filled up the stat sheet uh, halfway, you know what I'm saying? He didn't I, – I, I, I was high on him. I, I had him I, on my prop bets probably over 15 points. Uh, he disappointed me. He really did. Brooks, he's going – somebody's going to get his shot, 6,300, and then, you know, it is what it is on 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 um on the Charlotte side of the ball. Uh kicking it off, you got Rozier, you got Graham, uh Hayward, uh Washington. Those Bridges is somebody who's been playing well uh the last as of late. Um he had a monster game in that blowout. He had about what did he have? Twenty points. He had sixteen rebounds, bro. I, I, I probably won't be going to him, but man, you know, he, Shout out to him. He had a pretty good game. But the guys who I'm looking at, especially on the bigger slate like this, uh, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. I'm sitting back waiting for uh, Devontae Graham. 6100 on draft on FanDuel. And you'll probably get him similarly priced on DK at 6600 I'm waiting on him to blow. Uh, I'm waiting on him to score some points. He get up upwards of 20 points. They blew Dallas out. Keep that in mind. But, you know, the minutes are there for him, 37, uh, 33. He's going to get all the minutes he can handle. Uh, peripherals are there. Uh, in a good game, he'll get more peripherals and more points. And uh, definitely at a 6,100 price tag on FanDuel, I really like him, you know. Um, and... Uh, that's probably like one of my favorite plays, but I am like waiting on him to blow. So, you know, Hayward, he's priced nicely. And uh, uh, Rosette, you know, somebody who I really don't play a lot. Uh, he, he can be ultra aggressive. So, you know, they they, they, they definitely in play. Um, another play from this, you know, of course, uh, his price tag is sexy, has been sexy. Uh, it's PJ Washington, man. You know he 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 should be priced about six K on Fanduel. Um, just another guy you can look to. Uh, Where's he? Where's PJ? Sixty three hundred. So you know that's a seven point seven seven hundred point difference on, between both sites. Moving over to the Miami and Dallas game. Um, this is a game I really don't know to what what to make of, man. What to make of for this game? But you know we're gonna go through it. Uh, I can't really predict the outcome of this game right now. This these get both of these teams have some nice pieces on um, the on on the uh, on the Miami Heat side. I have uh, I have been leaning towards uh, when you, when you get when you think about the Dragic and the and the hero. Uh, we will get Jimmy. We should. He's probable, so we should get Jimmy Butler back. But when you think about the top, uh, 
the plays over here in Miami. Um, Bam, somebody who I hadn't been on, he had a great game last game. Shout out to him. Uh, somebody who I said I wasn't playing and he showed up, but I but I did point out that he you know he could have a good game. You know, uh, Brook Lopez, he just goes absent. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's you know he he's be he he'll be on the perimeter a lot. You know what I'm saying? His own ball defense ain't that good. He get a block shot here and there, but you know. Bam is active in all categories, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he, you know, he, his peripherals game is up. And, like, if he give you to over 20 points, he's always going to have a nice game. But uh, probably somebody who I'll probably be off again, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind missing out on players, you know. Sometimes you, you're going to miss out, and sometimes you're not. But like I was saying, between the Tyler Hero, Tyler Hero and the Goran Dragic thing, you know, it's always been a minutes thing for me. Tyler Hero has always been in there, you know, getting the minutes. He played this season 32, 32, 33, 39 minutes, man. Um, the price discrepancies between both sides is what's really been uh, doing it for me. He's priced on fan on DraftKings right now, today, 6500 On FanDuel, he's priced at 5300 So, uh He's taking taking over, you know, probably like 12, uh, 12 shots a better a game. You know, this is where we need him at. Uh, uh, surprisingly, he had 15 rebounds last game in that rematch against Milwaukee. Uh, going up against Dallas, just looking for him to be ultra-aggressive. And, uh, you know, if I decide to pull a trigger on him, it would be FanDuel at 5,300. A very nice price tag. He'll have to... You know, under thirty points to hit you, fan, uh, hit you five times value. That's that's a good play on Fanduel. Good price tag. Um, Goran Dragic, he he played twenty seven minutes last game, gave you thirty five fantasy points. He bounced back. He hasn't played thirty minutes all year on Fanduel. He might be similarly priced. He's six K on DraftKings. On Fanduel, he is sixty one hundred. The slate is big, so uh, we're going to get to some other players. Uh, you know, just something for you to decide on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Jimmy Butler's back, 7,800 on DraftKings. On FanDuel, he'd be, he'd be uh, 8,100. Uh, I don't know if I'll get there. I don't know. Um, and then on um, who else? Probably nobody else I'd be looking to, given how, how, how big the slate is. Luka Doncic, everyone's waiting on him to blow up. Would I? Can he do it? Yes. Am I on him? No. I'll just keep on, stay on the fade train. Um, Tim Hardaway Jr. Uh, he doesn't do too many, too much, uh, too much, too much outside of you know get buckets, and uh, it's probably somebody who I won't be on either. Richardson, um, Richardson can give you some upside on this price tag. Uh, he used to play for this team. Uh, he's 4900 on DraftKings. On FanDuel, he is priced at, he might be similarly. I didn't even look him up. He's 5400 uh, You know, somebody who could, who who they, who see somebody who uh, <clears throat> Dallas really needs to step up. You know, you know, if you're looking at somebody like that on fan on DraftKings at 4,900, he's not even 5K. If he can get that crack that 30 minute mark, man, and he probably would if he's having a, a good game. But you know, the shots are there. He's shooting over 10 shots. We like to see the peripherals go up a little bit, but you know. And other than that, on the rest on this team. Uh, that's probably nothing else I'll be looking at. We'll be moving over to the Boston and Detroit game. Um, last game, Jalen Brown had him a game. Uh, he played. He shot lights out, bro. I mean, man, he was killing it, wasn't he? Shit, his ass. Uh, let's see. He had about. What, did he have like forty points? Boston and Detroit. Um, he had. 42 points. Busting Memphis ass. Shot 21, shot 21 times that game. And, uh, you know, his previous two games, slower pace matchup. Uh, a lot of posting up going on on the Indiana side. He still played 
uh, 34 minutes or whatever. He only shot 13 times. So, you know, that pace down, he was a pace down spot. But, you know, any other type of uh, decent or mediocre, I mean, decent or up-temp, up-tempo uh, um, game, look for him, look, he look for him to take, you know, upwards to 20 shots. He took 21 last game. And then his first two games, a little bit faster games, he took 25 shots, 24 and 25 shots. So, him and Jason Tatum, they do the heavy lifting over there offensively. Uh, he's definitely in play. Tatum's in play. Uh, Jeremy Grant, his prices came up on DraftKings. He's sitting at a at 6,800 man. So on uh, on 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 Fanduel, you'll get uh, you'll get him at 6,700 price similarly. But shout out to him. There'll probably be no 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 um, Blake Griffin. He's the last two games, he took 20 shots. That's something that you want to see. Um, he, he's a fairly decent rebounder. And if he's getting these minutes right here, 37, 38, 43, you know, it's, 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 it, he, he can return, you know, at least hit, hit four or five, five or six times value on that price tag. Um, going up against Detroit, though, uh, the pace of this game um, is yet to determine, man. So, do I think I want to pay that sixty-eight hundred for that price? I don't. I mean, for him, I don't know. Uh, other guys like uh, other guys on the uh, um, other guys from the Detroit side, uh, Rose. He's somebody who who's going to be in play. Yeah, tough matchup. You need that toughness from Rose. You know. Uh, Jaron Jackson, uh, I mean, uh, Josh Jackson, he's going to shoot the ball. Uh, I like him. Uh, with no Blake Griffin, you're going to get Josh Jackson over here on DraftKings at 5,200. I definitely think he's in play. <clears throat> the 19, the 14 shots, that's what we're going to need for him. You know, that's what we're going to need for him. On FanDuel, you'll get him at, uh... Forty-eight hundred. That's under five k. He's been playing well, man. We all know. We all know what he can do. We know he can ball, man. Stop playing. Y'all know he can ball. Thirty-three, thirty-nine, a twenty. You know he had under thirty-one game. So, uh, you know, between Jackson and uh, between Jackson, <clears throat> between Jackson and. Uh, And Grant, I'd probably lean Jackson, uh, depending on who I'm looking for or what I'm looking for at that position when I'm rostering when, I, when I'm rostering my team. And like I said, Derrick Rose, he's a 59. He got a 5900 price tag on on DraftKings and uh, on FanDuel. He is priced at oh they got Rose at a two guard on FanDuel. He might be under 6K as well, um, 5700. So uh, you know there you have. We would like would like to see those minutes, and we have to keep an eye tag, uh, 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 keep an eye out on the on the price tag for I mean on, I mean on the injury status at uh, Killian Hayes, um, and you know uh, Marcus Smart he's out there thirty three minutes a game at least. Jeff T might get to start again. Pritchard is another uh, cheaper option that you guys can look at. You know. You got Bain, you got Pritchard, and then there's some more cheaper options that I'll be, you know, pointing out. And then you got, for the bigs, I'll probably be off anybody over here from uh, uh, Boston. Tristan Thompson should be back. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I would, would love for him to get off that minutes restriction at 4,200. Um, I love the, I love the spot for him if he was getting 30 minutes. Um, Mason Plumley, he's in play, uh, 5,700 on DraftKings and, uh, um, what is it? 6,200 on DraftKings on FanDuel, uh, probably, it'd probably be a no for me because I'll be looking for the upside, but, uh, you know, moving along, uh, Atlanta and Brooklyn, y'all see what these boys did last game. They went ham. Uh, they went ham. They went ham. Uh, I don't have to even. This shit was self-explanatory. I knew that game was going to work. They motherfuckers put up 
286 points, I believe. So, you know, if we see anything like that again, you know, hey, it's 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 up there. So this game as a whole, man, uh everybody got there. Shit, everybody got there. Um last game, everybody got there. I don't have to go into that. But uh we got a Q tag on on Hunter. Um Looks like uh, Danilo Gallinari uh, and Ray John Rondo uh, will be out. So, man, that's 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 you know that things opens up that opens up some things. Uh, you know, like Trey 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 has a Q tag too. I didn't even know that he's probable. He ain't gonna miss this game. The calf injury shows. That's something to look at. But he's probable. So anyway. I'll, like I always say, I like to go bigs against Brooklyn. I like to go bigs against Charlotte. And um, there's another team I like to go bigs against. So that's something that I want to point out before I get into get into this analysis on this game. Um, my favorite higher-priced guy from this game, from the Brooklyn side, I mean, K- Kyrie. I mean, KD. Look at KD. After that first game, he's been gone upwards of 30 minutes every game. He dropped a 63 on these boys last game. Efficiently, shot 50 percent from the field. Man, he was just doing it all. He was balling. Uh, I would imagine Kyrie Irving would like to have a better game than he had last game. He shot 10 for 27. Man, he needed you know three from 11 from 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 three. So you know, look at these last three games from three. The three-point attempts he's been taking. So, a lot of my guys that out there that's doing prop bets and stuff like that is something that you can look into. He's taking, man, upwards of nine. He probably he's probably averaging about nine threes a game, man. You know, seven, about eight, about eight threes a game, whatever it is. But three, three, seven, four. You know what I'm saying? So he ain't he he, he made a lot of threes in each game. But anyway, like I was saying, he shot ten for twenty-seven. Uh, he should have gave us. He should have hit a few more shots. He should have gave us close to. Uh, he should have gave us plo- close to 30, 30 something real points. His, uh, you know, peripherals they always around in this area, so you know he's a a scorer. If he takes anything, uh, you know, any more shot. I mean, anywhere, any any amount of shots close to what he took right there, man. I I I, I like him. Um, and you know, Kevin Durant, Trey Young, Trey Young, his usage should go up a little bit more. How many minutes did did did, did uh Rajon Rondo play? He played 16 minutes last game. So, you know, that's that's another 16 minutes, probably a little bit more minutes go to uh Herder and uh Herder and uh Bogdanovich, but like I say, everybody got there. Bogdanovich, 33 fantasy points. He took him 14, 15 shots. He made six threes, five threes. He made six threes. He took 11 threes. It was a lot of shots to go around. You know, if you want to look at same game parlays, you can run right back to this game. Uh, so, you know, um, John Collins is probably my favorite play on the Brooklyn side. He's still sitting at 7,200. On FanDuel, he is sitting around the same price. I wouldn't mind going right back to him again. He he had 30 real points, 45 fantasy points. He had a double-double. On, 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 on DraftKings, he probably had a little bit more than 40. That 45, yeah, 48 fantasy points because of the scoring difference, the extra points for the double-doubles and things like that. But, man, there's a lot of fantasy goodness to go around. Uh, DeAndre Hunter, he should benefit from uh, – Danilo Gallinari being out, so he's definitely in play. He is coming in at 5,200 on DraftKings. On FanDuel, Deion, uh, uh, Hunter is coming in at, uh, I believe, first of all, foremost, I think they have him at the small forward spot. And this is this is what I like to point out. He's 5,200 on DraftKings. On FanDuel, you'll get Hunter for... I don't fucking know. I didn't went past him, but uh, you get a guy like uh, Reddish at forty six. You know, similarly priced. Where is Hunter? Uh, let me see, because I believe they might have him at forty five hundred on Fanduel. 
Oh, fuck. Here we go. I got to type in his name and all this shit. Okay, he's got to be at the three. My fault, guys. I should be more fluid with this bullshit. 4,200, man. 4,200. Getting upwards of 30 minutes a game. You know, 4,200. Under 25 points. Under 25 fantasy points to hit your five time value. Uh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Hunter, uh, he's questionable. He's questionable. So. Uh, he's questionable. But Gallinari is out, man. You know, fire up some, some Hunter, man. Especially on draft, on FanDuel, man. Especially if you're playing multiples. But it depends on how your, how your, uh, how your bill's coming out. But that's a very nice price tag. And uh, I don't want to spend too much time on this Brooklyn game. Let's move on over. Uh, let's move on over to the Chicago and Milwaukee game. Like I said, uh, Clint, Clint Capella, don't sleep, but Clint Capella is on a, a minutes restriction. If we hear anything else, then we know we can uh, crank him up. I just don't want to miss out on anybody. Um, Joe Harris. Because I have to point on some of these. Because uh, we got some people here for betting, too. You know, we, I, I have to touch on some of these. You know what I'm saying? Some of these guys. I wouldn't trust his his peripherals. You know, I wouldn't trust his peripherals. But uh, he's, he's somebody who takes and makes the three, for sure. And the minutes are there for him. Will be there for him with no Dinwiddie. Uh, he had 33 fantasy points last, last game. It was like fantasy goodness that game. Anyway, Chicago Bulls and Milwaukee. Um, on the Chicago Bulls side, they have some injuries up their sleeves. Um, Sadoransky, Archie Diakono, these my Chicago Bulls. I'm from Chicago, man. I know we suck, whatever it is, what it is. But, um, yeah, Sadoransky, uh, Hutchinson, you know, Markinen, uh, you know. So, um and no injuries uh, outside of Torrey Craig on the um, on the Milwaukee side. Uh, there is some blowout risk in this game, so there you have that. Um, ABC man, you think they keep it close because you know Nick Nurse uh, uh, he would sit the, he would sit his guys, but you think they get him close, keep it close. You can see he's always a, a triple double candidate, and he can give you that in limited minutes too. Uh, if the Bulls can keep this close, then you know uh, Giannis should smash their ass. You know we already know that. I don't have to go there. Chris Middleton, he's been getting his uh, he's been getting his peripherals on this season. Uh, he gets buckets. He, he and like I say, his peripherals has been there. Last game, he had eight points, seven rebounds, nine assists, and still gave you thirty fantasy points. He only had eight points. If he'd have gave you like his his normal little twenty twenty five, then he would have went over forty fantasy points. He's in play at seventy seven hundred uh, on Fanduel. You'll get Middleton at uh, seventy nine hundred, so he's similarly priced. Uh, Drew Holiday sixty six hundred on on DraftKings on Fanduel. You'll get Drew Holiday for uh, sixty six hundred, same price, cheaper option out of the three. And uh, I definitely don't mind him. Um, who the hell would they have to guard him? Probably Kobe White. Uh, Levine might be guarding Chris Middleton, and you know those are two good, two 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 good matchups. Don't you know? Don't sleep on Drew. Drew will give it to your ass for real. I would love for them to take the chains off of him. I'd like to see Drew at thirty minutes, thirty-two minutes a game, no matter what. That's what I'd like to see. So, uh, you know, and the Bulls, you know, they should just, you know, this this Milwaukee team, they deep. They got some pieces. So, you know, DiVincenzo and, you know, Bobby Porter's going up against his old team and um, Pat Connaughton. They got guys that can, and DJ Augustine. They got guys to fill in when when uh, uh, DJ Wilson and stuff like that, to, you know, to fill in when, you know, blowouts occur and stuff like that. On the Bulls side, I don't know what to make of it. I don't, I, I don't know, man, but we're shorthanded, man. So, you know, uh, outside of the starting lineup, outside of the starting lineup, you'll get Temple getting in there for minutes, Valentine getting in there for some minutes, uh, 
the rookie starting, but he's playing. He's playing not as many minutes, but uh, a play that I want to point out is uh, with the injuries to uh, Hutchison and Hutchison, Sadoransky, and marketing, you're going to get Otto Porter. He's going to be a popular play, so don't even trip. You know, he's going to be a popular play. Uh, he played about, what, 33 minutes last night? 30, 31 minutes against Washington. You know the – Washington has no defense, and that was his former team. He shot a Fisher 10 for 14 from the field, 28 points and 12 rebounds, almost 60 fancy points on <clears throat> on DraftKings on FanDuel. He's priced at uh, 4,400. He's going to get the minutes. He's going to get the minutes. So that's definitely something I wanted to point out, man. You know, 55 fancy points. He's gonna be. He's going to get the minutes. I don't know if he might have a tough task with guarding uh, ABC, but I don't know. Uh, some of everybody probably going to get a look at ABC. Um, Thaddeus Young came back, gave you about 26, 27 minutes his last game, 15, 6, and 3, 2 steals, 7 for 12. He shot efficiently, 133 to 130, so you know, Washington, no defense having ass, right along with the Bulls. They had no defense like that either, so they put up a massive amount of fantasy points. You will get that young at, with these injuries, he might see them same amount of minutes again or somewhere around it. You will get that young at 3,700 over here, 3,500 on DraftKings. So he's another cheap option to, to, to take a look at. And one more player I wanted to take a look at, especially in in, 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 in in blowouts. And I just really want to let you know this guy has arrived. It's just they got to find minutes for him, man. I, I know. I was watching him last year. This guy, Daniel Gafford, he has game. So not maybe not today, maybe not next next month or whatever. But when his time come, remember his name, man. Remember his name. Daniel Gafford, bro. He's going to be good. Okay, um, moving over to the Washington Minnesota game. Um, most likely we'll have Westbrook out. Uh, Cat Cat is out already. Uh, Okoji he should be out, and uh, Noel, you know, he's been out, and there, there you have it for the injuries. Um, on the um, Washington side of the ball, we got Rudy. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy Hachimaru, he came back for his first game yesterday. He played 25 minutes out the gate, had 17 points, five rebounds, three assists. Uh, coach said he probably could have played more, so that's something to think about. He 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 was he coming in at 5,300 on DraftKings, on FanDuel. He's probably priced around the same. I know he's at the power four spot. You got Rui. Where's Rui? Let me find out. They got Rui at the three. FanDuel, they, they kills me with that shit. They just have people all over the place, man. 5K for Rui. Going up against Minnesota. You know, Minnesota is terrible right now. So, uh, there's a lot of fancy points to be had. There should be a lot of fancy points to be had in this game. So... Everybody, you know, all the all the usual suspects, you know, every face you see from 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 Bradley from Bradley Bill on down, they in play, man. You know, it is what it is. Uh, I really like D'Angelo Russell this game, man. Last game in the blowout, uh, he still played thirty one minutes, had thirty six fancy points, took nineteen shots. Going up against and uh, going up against the, the, the Clippers, uh, like I said, it was a blowout. Damn near all game long. And uh, going up against this Washington team, if he can get hot, 7,500, man, on DraftKings. FanDuel, you'll get him at probably similarly priced, man. He's not even in the picture. You have to scroll for him. 7,500 on FanDuel. You know, I like, I like, I like, I like it. I like it, man. You know, I like it. Um, Another person I want to touch on, Ricky Rubio. He got to start. We know what Rubio can do, man. He, he. It ain't all about the athleticism and all that shit with him. And that blowout. He got 26 minutes last game. 
going up against the Clippers, 17 points. We love to see that against this Washington team. You know the assist is going to be there. He should have more than five assists against this Washington team. 5,200 on DraftKings, man. He should be priced similar on FanDuel. He's coming in at uh, uh, 5,300, so there you have it. Um, Nas Reed. Just going to be a lot of bricks shot in this game. A lot of rebound opportunities. He's in play, man. Uh, Thomas Bryant, we know he's a baller. Just don't act like he can't ball. With Russell Westbrook out, he should get more rebounds. I know he fucked a lot of people last game when you did same game parlays. Uh, but he, he he was efficient. You know, he was 10 for 11 for, uh, from the field. He does shoot the three. Uh, he had three rebounds, so I'd be, probably be looking for him to get upwards of, you know, at least, I don't know how many fucking rebounds he's going to get, but he should get more now that, 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 uh, now that uh, Westbrook ain't playing. But he's definitely a player. 6300 bro. What is his price on FanDuel? He should be priced same or similar. He can't be under 63 Oh, my God, he's 5800 man. One thing about FanDuel, you just don't want to miss. You don't want to miss, man. You don't want to miss because you only get one shot at, at center. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, what you, what you make of it. And, yeah, you know, and like I said, you're going to get uh, Anthony Edwards. He's probably going to play extra minutes in this game, especially if it stays close and it's not a blow. Number one pick, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he's take th That last game in that blowout, he took um, tw 10 shots. The, the, the game before that, he took, what, 21 shots, so, man, hopefully he can, you know, man, somebody nobody going to be talking about, 5,100, man, against these against these uh, Washington Wizards, man, you just got to watch out. Ish Smith, he's not playing that big-time backup role so far, but uh, Raw Neto is. Uh, he played, what, how many minutes did he play? 22 minutes last game. He had 29 fantasy points against the Bulls. Uh You'll probably get them priced similarly on DraftKings. Um, somebody, another cheap option. You got like three three or four cheap point guards stepping into the nice roles today. And, you know, that's about it. Uh, San Antonio and L.A., if uh, you got a Q tag on LeBron, check that check that out. Q tag on uh, uh, Aldridge. Be on the lookout for that. And uh, we they get Derek White back. He'll be 5,400. We don't know if he's going to be on a minutes limit or whatever, but he'll be looking to make his debut today. And uh, Caruso is out. So, you know, there you have it. Um, Anthony, you know, Anthony Davis is the LeBron's. Anthony Davis, they're doing a good job of bringing his, his price tag down. 9,500 on DraftKings. Still sitting over, man, still sitting over 10K on FanDuel. What has he been doing for me lately? Nothing but a 38 or 35. Hit, hit a 50, hit 50 one time this year. Still didn't hit volume. He was at 10-3. So, uh, you know, definitely a smash spot. You know what I'm saying? Like I always say with these Lakers, um, I just think they're trying to get that roster playing up to par. The other guys, like the, the Schroeders and the Harrells and shit, they want them boys to be on a level playing field come time to crunch time, the playoff time and shit like that. So be weary with some of these studs and some of these spots, especially these guys. Uh, DeMar DeRozan, still sitting there at 7,300, 7, a rematch. I don't see him doing any worse than he did. He, I liked him. If you watched my last video, I really was on him, especially on DraftKings. He put up a 41 on fantasy, on 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 on. on DraftKings, so that's pretty good. He's sitting at 8K on FanDuel. That's something that I do know because I was looking for his ass. Uh, you know, just to, you know, I'd rather play him on DraftKings if you do, but he's definitely in play. He's going to need to take some shots. He's going to need to take more shots than this. The guy who I want to point out here is DeJounte Murray, and this is what I like to see from DeJounte Murray. I like to see upwards of 30 minutes. I like to see 19, 20 shots. This is what I like to see. The rebounds and assists is going to be there. They did get tore up, but this is what I like to see. Aggressiveness. You know, over 15 shots. We've been waiting too long for Murray. He's coming. He's 6,900 on DraftKings on FanDuel. He's um, 7,400. And I still don't know what I, if I'm going to get to him or not. I just wanted to point that out. That's what we need to see. 
with the minutes and Dwight coming back, I don't know who's going to be seeing the short end of the stick. I know Keldon Johnson, he plays a lot of the three and the four, stuff like that. So, like I said, uh, keep an eye on Aldridge. He, he got a nice price tag on on DraftKings. He might, he's probably, probably similar on FanDuel too, man. Those are nice, nice price tag for him. Nice price tag for him. Uh, and you know, like I said, if if Aldridge's out, you can you can you can look to uh, Poto. Uh, if his ass don't get into no foul trouble, but probably somebody you won't need to get into. Or none of these other guys. These guys right here, self self explanatory. If you play them, you play them. You don't, you don't. Shorter's price is going up. He had th- he, this last two games. He had over thirty fantasy points. Uh, he came he went from a sixty one hundred to sixty two hundred. Now he's at sixty seven hundred. On FanDuel, you'll get Strader at $6,200. Um, I like the matchup. You know, it is what it is. Um, Harrell, tournament option for me. I ain't probably ain't going nowhere to, near him in, 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 in this game. It just won't happen, man. 6500 60, I don't even care what his price is on FanDuel. Move over to Phoenix and Denver. Uh Jokic, he's been my man. He's been the main man. He's been my man. He, he, he's who I've been paying up for. You know, I've been paying up for those triple doubles. He's got a, He's played four games. He's got a triple double in three of them. So, my guys that like to bet that triple double, you know, there you have it. The pace of this game, I don't know, man. Hopefully, this game stays competitive. Uh, they got uh, Phoenix got some pieces, you know, to try to keep this game competitive. Uh, I like uh, Jokic. At 10-6 on DraftKings, on, on FanDuel, he's at 10-2, man. So, hey, I, I'm loving it, man. Uh, he's did so much for me that it, it, even if he shits the bed, I can't be mad because he kept me in the green every time he came on the slate. Devin Booker, I just told you guys, I'm always I'm missing point Booker, man. I'm missing point Booker. I just think Chris Paul is in a way. I'm not the only one who feels like that. Everybody else feels like that, man. So for those reasons, you know, yeah, he could probably go crazy at any given time. He had a 38, man. You know, he was priced at 8,600. That didn't hit value. Uh, he went 10 for 17. It's just something, you know, something's going on, man. I'd like to see. That's what I say. I'd like to see Booker with. You know, a, a a a lower tier point guard. That way, he has a little bit more control over the offense, man. You know, so uh, I don't know, man. He's a no for me. Mm-hmm. Porter, you got Porter coming in at seven k. Uh, if we get news that Jamal Murray won't suit up, then uh, Porter, you know, he's he's definitely in play. Uh, he's ultra aggressive without Jamal Murray. Uh, Sixty one hundred. Almost ten point, uh, uh, almost a thousand point, uh, a thousand difference on between both sites. He gave you thirty points last game and ten rebounds at forty minutes. Uh, you know, I like him better on Fanduel, especially if uh, Jamal Murray don't play. Damn, my fault. Um, but you know, overall, if this game could stay close, man. Uh, Jokic, of course, no brainer. Um, DeAndre Aiden, he needs to uh, he needs to step his game up. I'm tired of seeing this. He hasn't hit over 14 points all fucking year. You know, you know he had a tough matchup against Gobert last night. You know, but hey, come on now, man, come on. He's he's a fairly decent rebounder, but look, bro, we need some more points from your ass for real, for real. But, you know, his fantasy outputs, they wasn't matching. You know, he was a 7,400 and shit like that. We just need more points for him. Look for him to be a little bit more ultra-aggressive this uh, tonight. Chris Paul, just a no for me. I see some guys in some good spots. Can he blow up? Yes. Mikhail Bridges, he's been playing ball, bro. He's been playing ball. 5,700 on DraftKings. On FanDuel, you'll get Bridges at 5,900. Look, he's been hitting value just about, let me see. He didn't hit this game. He didn't hit that game. But every other game, he's just been right there. Uh, So it looks like you really want to jump on him when he's like 6K and lower. But, you know, they're going to need, they're going to need, they're going to need everything they can get. Uh, 
they're gonna need everything they can get. So he he's in play, you know. But will I get to him? I don't know. And for the rest of these guys, like I said, you can look to uh, if Murray's out, ultra plug him in. Monte Morris, plug him. You know, you'll get him at 4,700 4, on DraftKings on FanDuel. You'll get him at uh, 4K. So he, you know, he gets the shots. He gets the shots and stuff like that. <clears throat> so it's up there from there. And that's about it. Uh, oh, oh. I want to touch on Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder, nice piece from this game. He shoots a lot of threes, man. He shoots a lot of threes, uh, and he's been efficient for three. You know, you've seen him in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? The minutes can be there. He's 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 solidifying his minutes right now as we speak. Uh, you'll get him at 4,900 on DraftKings, and on FanDuel, you'll get him at uh, 40. 600 so if you if you have to dig down there in, the, in those cookie jars and stuff like that in a place where phoenix would need to score some points and you want a cheaper cheaper piece from this game then you know you can look to his way all right la clippers in utah i don't know what to expect from this game i don't know if it's gonna blow hopefully it doesn't man they'll have a staple like utah got a staple like rudy gobert down there so I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. But uh, I haven't went near Kawhi Leonard none this year. Uh, they, he played in that blowout against Portland, and uh, he put up 51 fancy points. Man, he just they just blew them. They just blew them, man. They blew them out, man. I don't know what the fuck is up with Portland, man. Portland gets on my damn nerves. Anyway, 9200 on DraftKings. You'll get to Kawhi at 9,800 on FanDuel. I don't think I'll get to. I don't. I don't think I'll get there. Uh, Paul George, he's priced good on. He's priced good on on DraftKings, but he's priced better on FanDuel. You're gonna get Paul George at under 8K. Another another. This this is what I like right here. Uh, I don't know if I'll get to him, but if I was to probably take a piece from this game, I'd probably take Donovan Mitchell. First, you know what, though? Donovan Mitchell and uh, Rudy Gobert would probably be neck and neck for me. You know what I'm saying? And truthfully, as much as I don't mm -hmm. like to pick Mike Conley, he's been doing well, man. He's been doing well. The minutes are there for him. You know, mm -hmm. let's, hope he, let's hope he stays. Let's hope he stays healthy because – you know what I'm saying? Uh, he's been, you know, 34, you know, 51, 33. The fantasy points has been decent. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, these guys should have to log some minutes this game. I don't think this game blows. I don't think this game blows. Another guy, uh, Bogdanovich, I don't know what happened to his ass last game, but, you know, he takes shots. Uh, 17, 16, 14. It's just interesting to see how this how this is going to play out. Hopefully, I don't. I just don't think this game is going to blow out, man. Anyway, uh, Rudy Gobert sitting in a nice spot. He's double 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 waiting to happen every night. 18 and 14, 8, 12 and 10. So double doubles there for him. Uh, he's hit 40 fancy points every game he played. 7400 on DraftKings. On FanDuel, he's uh, 7,900. So, you know, you get extra points for the blocks and shit like that. So his points, you know, in 44 and a, uh, uh, two 44s. So he had four blocks on this game. He had, you know, that's the most blocks he had. So, you know, definitely he's in play on both sides. So, you know, that's some, um, you know, that's something. Um, and then you get to, uh, I don't have, I'm not even going to touch on uh, the Paul George and the, and the Kawhi Leonard thing, but I had to touch on these guys because this is their core and they're in there. Look at Donovan Mitchell. He's taking, taking 23 shots here, 23 shots there, 23 shots every fucking way, except for the first game. He's going to have to start making some of these shots. And there's no better time for him to start making these motherfuckers than tonight. He's going to have to start hitting some of these shots, man, especially for them boys to stay in these games. But the volume is there, 37, 31. Uh, 40, uh, 34. He's hidden value at, at his price right now. He would have hit value, you know what I'm saying? Uh, every time, probably except for one. And, uh, 
you know, he's shooting a three, you know, 10, 9, 10, 8. He's shooting a three. Man, if he can get, I like him in GPPs on DraftKings. On FanDuel, not so much. He's sitting at around 8K. He's a no for me on FanDuel. But on DraftKings, I wouldn't mind the play. So I definitely had to point that shit out for my people out there. Uh, and nobody else from, oh, you know what? His, these guys, they just log the minutes. This guy comes in hotter than like a microwave. He comes in like a microwave. He's hit two three-pointers every game, at least every game. Took at least six of them, five to six. We have probably five and a half threes a game. You know, he's he's been efficient from the field. He comes in off the bench and, you know, does does his jobs and goes his ass back home. Jordan Clarkson. Um, Ibaka's a no for me, you know. Batum, Batum is getting minutes, you know. Batum is getting minutes. And uh, at 4,600 on DraftKings, on FanDuel, how much is Batum, man? I know he's probably still around that. 4K range, yep, 4,700. You know, and even if you don't consider a lot of these plays in the in the in, in the um in the main slate, you know, late night slate, a lot of this research goes into all throughout throughout the night. Joe Jingles, Joe Ingles is a no for me. I don't know what the fuck he been doing with these minutes. He hasn't. He hit. He went over 15 fantasy points one time this year. So uh, I don't have to point that shit out too, man. Moving to the last game on the slate. I know it's late. I know it's dragging out, but I want to point these guys out, man. Point these guys out. Um, I don't know what to make of this game. So, uh, Yusuf Nerf is still on the menace limit. Draymond Green should be back, so help is on the way. Uh, you know he gets a lot of peripherals and stuff like that, a lot of assists. So, man, 6,100. What is he priced on uh, FanDuel? 6K. So y'all know, y'all know what Dre do. Y'all know what Dre do. Um, so, uh, like I said, uh, Damian Litter under 10K, somebody who I ain't played not once. He is, what is he on? 9,300 on FanDuel. Both of these, both of these teams need a win, man. They need a win. Uh, man, uh, <clears throat> CJ McCollum been ultra efficient, man. Uh, 39 fantasy points, 50 to 60 to 36. That's what you want. He's in a great spot. This game here, man. I don't know. I haven't checked the total to this game, man. But it should be, it should be a great. It should be a good game, man. Curry, you know he's the centerpiece of that offense, man. He's getting his shot. 17, 25, 17, 21. If this game stays close, man. Uh, you know, this it's a lot of usage going around between these one, two, three, four guys right here. It's a lot of usage going on. Even U Ubre's getting his shots. It's a lot of usage going on. Andrew Wiggins, he's taking a lot of shots. 19, 15, 18, 16. And he's been doing okay, man. Somebody who I normally don't like to play, he's been doing okay. The shot volume has been there. Like I said, usage nerfs, he's, he's been on the minutes limit and, you know, he, he, outside of last game, he's been looking all right, but, you know, somebody who you, who you want that full run out of, you know, you want that full run. And his menace to lemon stint, Cantor has been getting it in. He's been getting it in. Uh, he's, he, he's at 4,700. He's got 44, uh, uh, I mean, he's got 23, 33, 23, 24. So he's been, he's been hitting value for his price. He's been making the most for his minutes. Ubre, he's you know offensively he needs to get it together you know that's playing. he's hit double figures one time this year if y'all feel like y'all want to pull a trigger on him then you know that uh, go ahead be, be be my friend James Wiseman uh we need to see at least thirty minutes out of him man for real but you know Steve Kerr he likes to mix and match those he likes to mix and match those uh rotations like crazy bro. So, uh, do I have a favorite play from this game? You know, of course, uh, if I was to try to get there. My, uh, between these three guys right here, between the top three guys right here, you, anything can happen. You all know that. You all know that. Anything can happen, man. Between these three guys right here. We, the thing about this game, you just want to know uh, if they can keep it close. If, 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 if mainly uh, Portland, I mean, uh, Golden State, if they can keep it close, man. You should see some nice fancy points around here. These guys, these guys love to shoot the ball. Both teams love to shoot, but um, you know, 
And that's about it. I wrap wraps it up for this for this uh for this slate, man. I try to touch on everybody that was viable, man, and point out some some price some price you know some price discrepancies and shit like that. Um, like I say, thank you all for the support. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this one up, man. Good luck, everybody. All my social media media uh, links will be in the description. Peace out.